As we grow, we know. I am educate, educate, we know. Hey guys, so today guys, we're going to try and teach um, children how to identify fruits and vegetables. So what I've asked you to do is just get some plastic um, cheap um, toys if you can. You can also use drawing apparatus. What's that, what that, what that little guy? Plastic and drawing. Well done. They're plastic, aren't they? Okay, guys. So what we want to get right here is identify these fruits and vegetables. Now, we're working with a child here who's less than uh, who's three years old and has subtle learning disabilities and prematurity. So here we go. Let's try it. Should we try the easy one first, yeah. little fella? Okay, what is this? Broccoli. Excellent. Can you show me the broccoli? Pick up the broccoli for me. Well done. Is it tasty? Yeah. Put the broccoli here. Show all the guys at home. What color is the broccoli? Green. Well done. So pick up the broccoli for me. Again? Yeah. Excellent. Now, Show me the... Oh, you like that one? What's that one called? Pizza. Show, show the guys at home. Show the guys. It's a... Pizza. Pick up the pizza for me. <gasps> you took the pizza. Oh my gosh. Are you going to eat it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we got the Hello. egg. Hello, giant. Hello, giant pizza. May I eat you? Show me the egg. Oh. Eat your pizza. Oh, you showed the egg. You want me to put, put it here? Show me the egg. Oh, what color is the egg? White. White? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Do you like, do you like eggs? Yeah. Eggs. Oh. Is, put the egg here. Eggs is put the egg here. Put it. Put it to my finger. Egg yes. Is one a, egg. Egg is a piece. Oh. And what you didn't tell me though is yeah. how many eggs do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Are you sure? I'm not sure. Count how many eggs do you see? One, two. Eggs. How many eggs do you see? One. Well done. How much broccoli do you see? One. What? Pick it up. Bring it. Well done. That's a great job. So basically, you guys, it's 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 very kind of simple in teaching them um, their sensory skills. Oh, As I said, I'll get the bucket. What's that? I'll get the bucket. Want to get a bucket? Yeah. Okay. Go and get a bucket then. I'll tell these guys about your learning. So basically, as you see, you can pick up these like, basic little toys all over the place and you actually can do more with them than you think. Rather than just throw them around the house and make a mess, you can teach your children lots of sensory skills. But the main important thing you're going to find, guys, is that it's the social interaction that you have with your children. And that is key and fundamental in teaching your children a lot of things. Spending that time to have social interaction with them. Unlike Ash, you just let's look at in, into the sky and not look at anything. But we're talking about plastic, just simple plastic toys. Uh, Asparagus. Yes. Can you put this together for me? Yeah. And make a cake. Put these two together for me. <gasps> can you do it? Yes! I can do this. Well done. You're very confident. Let's see. Show us, show us. What did you do? Pancake. Put it here, put it here. Show us. <gasps> you did it! Yay! Yeah. You made a pancake. A yummy pancake. Can I eat it? Yeah. Show me, show me. 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 Show me, uh, progress of your children, especially if you have children with learning disabilities that have a low sense of sensory skills at such an early age. Also, it's a fast way to determine if your child's progress is making leaps and bounds or if you're going to get some, need some special help along the way. So when you present your case to um, medical experts, at least you can say you've done I'm these... Expert, uh, food What's that? The okay. Okay. Because they're going to ask you all these questions and sometimes if you delay in the learning progress and wait on uh, learn an expert to, uh, to give you give tasks to do, you'll find that your child is actually quite behind. So you need to jump leap falls ahead and get your... You, are you, are you, are you, you're just repeating everything I'm saying. <laughs> so you need to uh, be proactive in the learning of your child and not wait on other people to tell you what to do when it comes to your child. 
and homeschooling is an ideal way to push forward and give your child the help and sensory skills he needs or she needs at such a young age. Please parents, don't wait for people to dictate to you when your child needs to learn and how your child needs to learn. Do your own work. You're only not on home educating your children, you're educating yourselves in the progress of your children. Isn't that right, young fella? And as we grow... I know. I hope educate as we grow, we know.